Hey guys, Rob here. Just wanted to show you my uh, 18650 pack for the Fat Shark goggles that I made. Uh, this is using 18650 uh, batteries that you put in here in uh, series. And if you buy the little board, you press this little button and you can see how much uh, charge you have. Um, the weight of this compared to the stock Fat Shark battery. So the Fat Shark battery weighs 95 grams. And this weighs 118 grams. So it is it is a little bit heavier. Um, the only thing I, I, I should have probably made is made the lead a little bit longer. Uh, but um, now it's too late. So <laughs> I think it, it, it'll still reach. But just if you make one of these, um, make the the lead a little bit longer to plug easier into the goggles. So I took some pictures while I was making this. Basically, um, it's really easy. If you don't feel comfortable soldering directly to 18650s, probably not a good idea to do it, but it's not a problem if you're careful. Um, I took some pictures how I made this. Basically, first you have to scratch the 18650 cells with some sandpaper or a Dremel very lightly, scuff it up, then tin them and then you can start soldering uh, the wires onto it. Um, I just made a wiring diagram how I made this, and so you can just follow that, and it'll, it's really easy. Just start soldering, and the parts that I used, these are all from banga.com, like this little board here with this little button, um, they, the actual cells themselves, the balance lead, and even the little connector, even the little connector is all from Banga, and it is really easy to, just put together this took me about half an hour to put together and it, it, it's really nice I, I really like this case because it is uh, all like everything is inside even the actual little board so it, you should really print this with a transparent PLA so that or some transparent filament so the lights can shine through and uh, but he the person who designed this case also has one where it there's actually a little cutout here so the the lights will shine through if you don't have a transparent uh, filament. Um, the only mod I made to this to his file his original file is I made the button a little bit uh, taller. His button is very sleek. It's it's flush and I like my button to stick out a little bit so it's easier to press. And basically just put some hot glue and just sealed it up. And you can still take it apart if you need to do any kind of maintenance. So let me put it on the goggles, see how it fits. So this is how it looks like when you put on the goggles. I actually had to melt the plastic a little bit just to give me a little bit more uh, wire. If you just make your leads much longer than I did because this is really tight, but I'm not gonna open it up again to solder or I might in the future but I just melted it a little bit with uh, old soldering iron tip just to give you a little bit more leeway and there you go so you do it if you guys want to build this all the parts are down below and all the links to the 3d printed files and the parts that I used all right guys later